Now we have seen her return. The more the enemy is beyond us, the more miraculous your actions appear, and the more our trials seem ordained. That is hard to accept, no? What we have been called to endure, what we perhaps must come to believe. I escaped the avalanche. Barely, perhaps, but I didn't die. Of course. And the dead cannot return from across the veil. But the people know what they saw. Or perhaps what they needed to see. The Maker works both in the moment and in how it is remembered. Can we truly know the heavens are not with us? You saw Corypheus. What do you think of his claims of assaulting the heavens? Scripture says magisters, to winter servants of false old gods, entered the Fade to reach the Golden City, seat of the Maker. For their crime, they were cast out as darkspawn. Their hubis is why we suffer blight, and why the Maker turned from us. If such is the claim of this Corypheus, he is a monster beyond imagining. All mankind continues to suffer for that sin. If even a shred of it is true, all the more reason Andraste would choose someone to rise against him. Corypheus said he found only corruption and emptiness, nothing golden. If he entered that place, it has changed him without and within. The living are not meant to make that journey. Perhaps these are lies he must tell himself, rather than accept that he earned the scorn of the Maker. I know I could not bear such. Mother Giselle, I just don't see how what I believe matters. Lies or not, Corypheus is a real physical threat. We can't match that with hope alone. army needs more than an enemy. It needs a cause. A word. A wise woman, worth heeding. Her kind understand the moments that unify a cause, or fracture it. The orb Corypheus carried, the power he used against you, it is elven. Corypheus used the orb to open the breach. 
Unlocking it must have caused the explosion that destroyed the Conclave. I do not yet know how Corypha survived, nor am I certain how people will react when they learn of the orb's origin. All right. What is it, and how do you know about it? They were foci, used to channel ancient magics. I have seen such things in the Fade, old memories of older magic. Corypheus may think it divined. His empire's magic was built on the bones of my people. Knowing or not he risks our alliance, I cannot allow it. They'll have to set aside blame while freezing is their first concern. We are agreed on that, and I may have a solution. By attacking the Inquisition, Corypheus has changed it, changed you. Scout to the north. Be their guide. There is a place that waits for a force to hold it. There is a place where the Inquisition can build, grow. They arrive daily from every settlement in the region. Skyhold is becoming a pilgrimage. If word has reached these people, it will have reached the Elder One. We have the walls and numbers to put up a fight here, but this threat is far beyond the war we anticipated. But we now know what allowed you to stand against Corypheus. What drew him to you? He came for this, and now it's useless to him, so he wants me dead. That's it. The Anchor has power, but it's not why you're still standing here. Your decisions let us heal the sky. Your determination brought us out of Haven. You are the creature's rival because of what you did. And we know it. All of us. The Inquisition requires a leader, the one who has already been leading it. You. Perhaps I didn't hear you correctly. A mage at the head of the Inquisition. Not a mage. You. I happen to be a mage. I will not pretend no one will object, but times are changing. 
Perhaps this is what the Maker intended. There would be no Inquisition without you. How it will serve, how you lead, that must be yours to decide. Orpheus will never let me live in peace. He made that clear. He intends to be a god, to rule over us all. Corypheus must be stopped. Wherever you lead us. Have our people been told? They have. And soon, the world. Commander, will they follow? Inquisition, will you follow? <laughs> So this is where it begins. It began in the courtyard. This is where we turned that promise into action. But what do we do? We know nothing about this Corypheus except that he wanted your mark. Corypheus wants to restore Tevinta. Is this a prelude to war with the Imperium? I get the feeling we're dealing with extremists, not the vanguard of a true invasion. Tevinter is not the Imperium of a thousand years ago. What Corypheus yearns to restore no longer exists. Though they would shed no tears if the South fell to chaos, I'm certain. Corypheus said he wanted to enter the Black City, that this would make him a god. He is willing to tear this world apart to reach the next. It won't matter if he's wrong. What if he's not wrong? If he finds some other way into the Fade? Then he gains the power he seeks, or unleashes catastrophe on us all. Could his dragon really be an archdemon? What would that mean? It would mean the beginning of another blight. We've seen no darkspawn other than Corypheus himself. Perhaps it's not an archdemon at all, but something different? Whatever it is, it's dangerous. Commanding such a creature gives Corypheus an advantage we can't ignore. Someone out there must know something about Corypheus. Unless they saw him on the field, most will not believe he even exists. We do have one advantage. We know what Corypheus intends to do next. When you were at Therenfall, you uncovered a plot to kill Empress Selene. Imagine the chaos her death would cause. With his army? An army he's growing. The Envy Demon gloated about a massive force of demons. Corypheus could conquer the entire south of Thedas, god or no god. <sighs> I'd feel better if we knew more about what we were dealing with. I know someone who can help with that. Uh, everyone acting all inspirational jogged my memory, so I, I sent a message to an old friend. She's crossed paths with Corypheus before, and may know more about what he's doing. She can help. I'm always looking for new allies. Introduce me. Uh, parading around might cause a fuss. It's better for you to meet privately, on the battlements. Trust me, it's complicated. Well, then, uh, we stand ready to move on both of these concerns. On your order, Inquisitor. I know one thing. If Varric has brought who I think he has, Cassandra is going to kill him. <laughs> 